Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is CPIO command. Okay, in this topic we are going to see the command called CPIO and we'll see the different options of how to use CPIO command. So let's look at the first option which is about create a creation of archive using CPIO command. So let's say that we are at the command prompt and here in this case let's say the all the files that is there I'll just list those files and I will use the command called CPIO with the option called minus OV. Okay, O stand for out or create. Okay, so this is for it will out or it will create something. And this V stand for verbal, that is verbose. And here we specify the file name and the file name is normally in the form of CPIO extension. So we can say sample dot CPIO. Okay, so this is how we can do this. There is another variant for this is we can use the find command that is find from wherever we are dot okay so the option that we are going to use here is that find dot minus depth okay so it will bring all the files and folders in the recursive format underneath it and this command remains the same here cpio minus ov and here we can see it is sample say one dot cpio so this is another way of creation of archive using cpio okay so let's see it in the system okay so let's say that we are in this folder okay and there are a couple of files here and i want to create a archive using cpio command for this so how do I use the CPIO command? I will just use this option called ls and you will use a pipe symbol here then CPIO minus O is for out or creation and V is for verbose and redirect this output to let's say sample1 or sample.cpio Okay, it can be anything basically just make sure that whatever naming convention you specify you just stick to it okay here you can see that this is create created in archive okay, now let's use the same let's create a similar archive using the find command so find from dot minus depth okay so this will archive all the files and folders underneath and pipe cpio minus ov and we can store the output in say sample one dot cpio okay just take note that it has brought in all the files and folders beneath it and the recursive format and if you just see this one, it's just the folders there. Okay, so this is how we can archive the files using CPIO command. In the next step, we'll see how we can extract these commands. Okay, so basically how we can unbundle these commands. We need to remove the bundle out of these commands. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so for extraction, what we will do is we are going to use this command. The way we use the extraction is we use this command CPIO and with the 
parameters as minus i. i is for here we are specif giving the out parameter so th this will extract the file so i we will use for extracting the files okay and we can have different options like you can have say dvm and we specify input parameter from the archive that we created that is slash temp slash sample dot cpio okay so let's try to see this in the system okay here just take note that what we are doing here is that we are extracting the archive so this is one way of extraction of archive another way another variant for this is we can use it in this format also as we saw so let's say that i will use a cat command okay so let's say cat this file name and pipe this to cpio minus i d v m take note that this y i is important because this is for extraction okay so let's see it in the system how it works okay so we are here in this folder and let's go to this folder called say slash cpmnt slash this is some folder that I have created. Okay, let's say that there is nothing here. Okay, so we will create a folder called uh, sample folder. So let's get into this sample folder and take the note that there is nothing is here. Now let's use this CPIO command. So CPIO minus IDVM and we will try to extract this particular okay so this is the one that we want to extract so this command is going to take an input from this file okay so this is how we are going to use this so if I just press enter you can see that see the output here okay so this is the output for this command now let's go back and try to create another folder let's say this folder and we will test out the other option that is let's say i want to cut this file okay and i want to take the pass this output to CPIO command okay so and you can see the same way things are created here so this is the way we can extract a CPIO okay so so what we have seen is we have seen how to use the CPIO command to create an archive and to extract an archive so that is what i wanted to cover in this particular topic thank you for joining me and have a nice day bye bye